He's a sweetheart, huh? That's my youngest brother, or rather, was my youngest brother the day of my first wedding. Yeah, my first wedding, I know. Two and holding, thank you. That goes for the divorces as well, two and holding. That's Nikki, waiting for my mom outside the ladies' room. I went on my honeymoon the next day and then moved away all at the same time. I never saw him again. See, within six months, no one would ever see him again. He vanished. Literally. Not a single trace, not even the courtesy of a phone call or ransom note or anything. There was a shoe, not his, near the supposed scene of the abduction. I held on to that shoe for a long time, kept it in my car. I don't know why. His room is still as it was back then. Mom insists on it. It's locked mostly, beds still unmade, furniture and toys as they were. They get dusted, that's about it. Mom is still waiting, she's sure he'll come back. Having made his way in the world with outrageous tales to tell about how he's been in the merchant marine or some such. But he won't. And not even I can convince her of that. He won't. They just never come home. They don't. They unfortunately live forever at the age they disappeared at, all funny and sweet and loving, and not knowing of the horrors of the world, let alone the horrors that befall them for just being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I often too often think of him in that moment of taking, that moment of realization. I'm in trouble. Is this really happening? Where's my brother? I missed him again. It's been years since he tried to wake me. He's back, I know it. He's somewhere. <laughs>